Hello, this is Tony from The Code Guys. Today is a Camtasia for Mac tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to do clean, effective zooms inside your timeline. The following sample is taken from Photoshop and it's a tutorial in which we, we work with layers. Sample here is really insignificant. I just want to show you um, how you can zoom in on specific dialog boxes to make those clean and crisp for your audience without affecting the rest of your timeline. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scrub through our document and see where we want to make our zoom. Now here is a dialog box that pops up that's not quite large enough for your viewers to see the details. So we're, we're going to scrub along and see how long this one section needs to be zoomed in the document and it's right about here where it clicks off so I'm gonna scroll backwards and um, we're lucky in that we have a, a already a break in the video for another reason so we scroll back to the uh, layer style uh, dialog box gets initially displayed and we're gonna right click on the playhead and do split selected at playhead now this is going to create a discrete block of video that is independent from the rest of the, the timeline. And that's where we're going to want to do our zoom. Because if, we're, if we were to do our zoom at the point we split the first time, it would affect the rest of the timeline and make the zoom um, destructive to, to the rest of your document. So um, I'll, I'll select the discrete section of video, move my playhead over so I can see where I need to zoom, and then I'm going to move and center the zoom in, in the screen and then drag and really get a good zoom in for your, for your audience so they can really see the detail there in your layer, your layer style dialog box. And, and that focus is, is great because if you if you come to the beginning of the zoom, it really does show up a lot better. This is really great because you can really see a lot of detail inside the layer style box or whatever box that you're uh, zooming in. Your, your audience is going to be able to see the details and not have to rely on what you say in the video to determine what they need to, the changes they need to make. Um, the other great thing is because we've really isolated this we can um, immediately pop back out to the rest of the Photoshop document after the zoom's finished and continue our, our tutorial. Um, if you were to have cut and then zoomed, you would have had to make a modification in the scaling options to fit this section of the timeline with this section. Um, by discreetly changing one tiny section of your video, you can avoid all that and it really does speed up your video editing and it keeps you from pulling your hair out. So um, I can't stress enough that creating small discrete blocks of video to zoom before you even start zooming is the way to go. I hope this helps and um, please stay tuned for more Camtasia videos from the Code Guys. This is Tony. Please comment and subscribe and we will talk to you later.